Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you about some tips and tricks of Military Simulator on Roblox. Let's get started. Firstly, you'll want to make sure that you're in the Soviet Union group and the Red Army group. If you haven't, follow these steps. You'll want to press on the Soviet Union name next to the word buy. Then you want to click the join group button and then once it has been pressed it'll say cancel request. You don't want to do that. You'll want to stay and wait until the request has been accepted. You'll want to do the same thing with the Red Army group. We're going to Affiliates and Red Army. You want to do the same process for Red Army. And I've already requested on this account, so that's why he doesn't pop up as that. Now that you've joined both the Red Army and the Soviet Union group, and you've been accepted into both, you'll want to open up the Military Simulator game on Roblox. Click the border. Then, click on the Red Army division, and press play. You'll notice now that your rank will be, um... Initiate and you won't have any stripes on your shoulders. I have three stripes because I am three ranks above uh, Initiate and I have a PPSH which is a machine gun has 71 bullets in a magazine And it works pretty good now To open doors you want to get your clearance one card. I have a clearance two because I'm a higher rank you would get a uh, clearance 2 and a PPSH 41 at um, Conscript, which is um, the third rank. So you want to hold E with your clearance card um, equipped. And you'll see that it opens doors. You also want to put your gun out, which will be a sidearm called the Makarov. And you want to press Q to holster it. It helps um, when you are at a post, and it makes you look more professional. Now, areas that you can sit, that, they, that you can stay at, uh, called posts, are here, here, over there, over there, and at the fences, because it helps for raiders, because you can have a tactical advantage against them. And also, there are posts over the back, over here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's go to the next part. Learning about uh, the opinion on the premiere at the very start. Now, only junior conscripts and above can operate this area. And you have to ask the question, opinion, on the premiere. The premiere uh, controls everything that happens in the border and th this whole game. And it's set in the Soviet Union um, if the Soviet Union uh, didn't dissolve. If they say something like good or great, then let them in. Also saying he's great, or the, the, the premiere is the best. Is uh, acceptable as well. You have to say pass, to give them the pass to go into the next section of the checkpoint, which I'll discuss later. If they say something like, um, bad, or it, or it's good or horrible for example you have to d deny them uh, this is because um, it's 
uh, saying that they have a bad opinion of the Premier, which is not allowed. Also saying it something is invalid because the Premier is a person and more specifically a he. Also, if they don't respond, you have to do a countdown, which is three, two, one, kill. You also want to say kill if they give a incorrect answer. Now, let's move on to the next section. Oh yeah, I just forgot to say, I think I forgot to say, no, no, I didn't, whatever. You'll see over here that there are currently people raiding. You'll want to shoot them as soon as possible because they will kill you. Also, you need to remember that if you're using a machine gun, uh, PPSHs have a uh, long reload time. So you want to deplete your full magazine before you go to reload because it leaves you vulnerable. You don't want to shoot anyone that has a red army uh, name tag, like me and this person, unless they are abusing, in which case you'll want to go to the Discord and report that. Here is another example of a raider. Also, anyone that passes through without being permitted must be killed. Another great thing to do when you're being shot at and you're on low health is to press C to crouch. This way you're less of a target and you can also hide behind things to take cover to regenerate your health. Sergeants Plus have um, control over you and what you do and they're usually one of the most high ranking members that you will be able to talk to. Um, and seek guidance and support. For example, this lieutenant. These people are called NCOs, otherwise known as non-commissioned officers. That is the ranks from lieutenant to major. Major is the first commissioned officer rank, and captain is before it. Special uh, divisions like Spetsnaz and Red Guard and uh, Fifth Rifles, or Fifth Rifles, yeah, Rifle Division, um, they are here to um, help when there are raiders and when there are abusers. These people you should um, stay like a good distance away from because if you kill them, you will get banned for t 10 minutes and you'll lose some of your promotion points which is known as honor. Now, on to promotions. Uh, some things I have to rectify is that it's Staff Sergeant Plus that are um, non-commissioned officers, which is the rank above Sergeant. And also that um, if you kill a Staff Sergeant Plus, you will also get a 10 minute ban and you'll lose some of your promotion points. Depends how many times you've offended. To check how much honor you have, you want to go to this man that says click me if you want a promotion uh, in the spawn, and then hold E. So it says how much honor you have, how much honor is required to get to rich rank, and also if you want to buy honor, which I do not recommend. Now, you get one honor every 30 minutes, so one honor for the first 30 minutes that you play uh, per day. You also get two honor at two hours, and uh, so on and so, so forth. I am not clear about um, like three honor, four honor, that kind of stuff. Um, so don't ask me about that kind of stuff. Another tip for um, raiders is that you should try and get up to the top level where you can snipe at the raiders from. Most of the time, though, raiders are smart enough to block it off, like, for example, what they've done here. There are also these um, people called spies, and these are people that have bought a game pass to look like another person, but they aren't actually that person. A way to tell if they are who they say you are is you can hover your cursor above someone, and you can see what ranks they are in which groups and which divisions. This is really helpful, as it also tells you um, whether or not you should listen to people when they're giving you advice. 
Another thing worth mentioning about this is that if you are a Soviet aristocrat, unless you are Premier's chosen, then you'll actually not be able to free room. You'll know who's a Soviet aristocrat because you'll see a special logo above their head that looks a little bit like this. Now, it co costs quite a bit. People may claim to be admins if they are um, a Soviet aristocrat, but this is really not the case unless they are a Premier's Chosen. You can see if there's a Premier's Chosen because, as using the technique that I said before, you can look at their... Um, uh, information by hovering over the their character and see if it says premier's chosen if it doesn't then you won't need to listen to them and just treat them like a normal um immigrant this also goes for people who have a name tag that says they're mafia these people are in a mafia and that's not really useful um uh, and it doesn't really do much except for give them a gun this is these people are can be quite dangerous, so you need to look out for them. Remember, they cannot free roam. They have to be treated as if they are an immigrant. Well, that's all. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. If you have anything you'd like to add, then feel free to um, add a comment. And as anyway, as, <laughs> as um, every day, uh, have a nice day and enjoy it.